Hi there, this is Aaron Lin with another knowledge base training video for you. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my three recommended knowledge base or business wiki applications for use in 2021. And I recommend these three particular pieces of software based on my work with clients and based on my own experience and usage. And if you have a question about knowledge bases, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Or if you need some more personalized help with setting up a knowledge base in your business, please see the link in the description below for my private consulting and one-on-one -on -one services. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing is I assume that you know what a knowledge base is. And if you don't, uh, very simply, a knowledge base is sort of an internal Wikipedia for your company. It's also known as a business wiki or a place that you can store SOPs, which are standard operating procedures, meeting notes, and other project-based business information for collaboration and sharing amongst your team. And the three best knowledge bases on the market right now in 2021 are Confluence by Atlassian, Slab by Slab, and Notion by Notion. And I'll just jump over to, over to the browser and we can take a look at each of these and why they're the best on the market at the moment. Okay, so here we are inside Confluence, but one thing I will just mention is that when I say that these are the three best knowledge base apps on the market, I say that for businesses that are run by solopreneurs or businesses with teams of up to about 50 people, because when you start getting above 50 people, businesses aren't really small or medium anymore and different levels of scale and technical rollout need to be taken into consideration. But with that aside, let's jump straight into Confluence. Okay, so Confluence, is the industry standard knowledge base product on the market today. It's developed by the good folks in Australia uh, at Atlassian, and it's been on the market for some 10 plus years. So it is a very stable, a very mature product, and it just plain works. The great thing about Confluence is that it is the industry standard on which all other knowledge base applications have been built. And that means that Atlassian, which is a very large software company, has a huge team of developers working on Confluence all the time. So bugs tend to get fixed and there tend not to be too many problems with data going missing or being unable to find things inside of Confluence. Now, what some people don't like about Confluence, and I'll just, I guess, open up one of these things here, is that the interface can look a little dated at times. Um, that is to say that it's not as sleek or as smooth as you may be used to with some new SaaS apps out there and you know the editor is still very much click and uh, very old-fashioned and Microsoft Word style when it comes to changing things. That being said, Confluence is a great product. It absolutely works and the pricing is very reasonable. At time of recording it works out to $5 or $10 per user per month. But the great thing is they have a free tier for solopreneurs and small businesses where it's free for up to 10 users. And if you do not already have a knowledge base, there is absolutely no reason that you should not be using Confluence in your business right now. Okay, the next knowledge base that I would recommend for 2021 is Slab. And Slab is incredibly popular with the marketing agency and SEO crowd right now. It's sort of the new kid on the block. And if you've ever used Slack, you may notice that Slab takes a lot of its design cues from Slack. Now, the difference between Slab and Confluence, functionality-wise, they're pretty much the same, but in terms of layout, in terms of UI, how it looks, how editing works, everything is a little bit more modern. You've got the editor sort of hidden in a pop-up bar here. And that's why a lot of people prefer Slab to say Confluence, even though they're both great products. The other great thing about Slab is that they seem to be very active in developing the products and rolling out new features on a regular basis. And in terms of pricing, at time of recording, Slab is also free for a limited number of users. And after that, it becomes $8 a month for the standard paid functionality or $15 a month if you need fancy things like SAML and so which most of us don't need. So Slab is actually my current default recommendation for most small businesses, simply because the interface is a bit more modern than Confluence. And sometimes people don't really want to use Confluence because it feels a bit of quote unquote old fashioned compared to something like Slab. Okay, the last knowledge base app that I would recommend for 2021 is Notion. Now Notion is sort of the disruptive upstart kid on the block. And it's been labeled as the killer app that is going to replace all business apps from now on, everything from uh, 
knowledge bases, to project management tools, to CRMs, to everything else. Now, for the purposes of this video and my recommendation, I am going to recommend that Notion just be used as a knowledge base because that is where it really shines. As you can see, the interface is completely different from Confluence or Slab, and you can sort of go through um, different, I guess, pages here in Notion, and you can basically customize it to your heart's content, and that's what people like about Notion. Notion is also extremely popular with the YouTube and the social media guru crowd, which I suppose makes it popular with everyone else as well. In terms of functionality, it's not all that much different as a knowledge base from Slab or Confluence, and it's probably a little harder to use because you have to customize it so much. Now, in terms of pricing, if you're using Notion yourself with a couple of guests, it's absolutely free. But if you're gonna use it in a business setting with say 10, five, 10 plus users, you are gonna pay a heavier price of about $10 per month to access the functionality and collaborative workspaces, which you're going to need for using it as a business wiki. So I would only recommend Notion for people who really want to experiment and who really want to customize their knowledge base look and feel to exactly how they want it. And typically speaking, if a client isn't already sold 100% on Notion, I would actually lean them more towards using Confluence or Slab depending on their UI preferences. All right, so that wraps up my training video on the three best knowledge bases and business wikis that you can use in 2021 in your business. Again, if you have a question, please leave it in the comments below. And if you need some personalized help with your business wiki or knowledge base setup in your business, please see the link in the description for details about my one-to-one -one private consulting services.